is that time of year where all the heavy hitters come out. It's October, the big games release season is upon us. And I'm here with Mike. Hello, Hello. Mike. Hi. And we are going to list just a few of them, just seven, because otherwise we'd be here all day. I mean, there's so many coming out. So here are seven of the games coming out this month that you should keep your eyes out for. There's Gran Turismo in there. Unbelievable. Now, Mike, please don't take Gran Turismo not being on this list as any indication that we do not like the game or think that it should do well. But one other car game that is kicking off the month with some deliciously good looking cars is Forza 7. The 10th, yes, 10th installment in the Forza series has over 700 cars to drive in 32 different locations. Plus, dynamic weather has been brought across from Forza Horizon and you'll have the ability to customize your own driver. So, Mike, we, we did include cars. Yes, you did. All yeah. right, I'll stay, I guess. <laughs> I'm ready to walk up off this sofa. <laughs> Just because something is in this list doesn't mean it's not good or bad. Or whatever, yeah. Um, yeah, Forza 7. Uh, it's exciting. Um, it's uh, obviously the kind of slickest, I think these days, the slickest sort of racing game out there. Yeah. Um, and the addition of the weather and, and kind of day and night stuff is, is really good. It really adds to the challenge. If you get the Xbox One X in about a month's time, um, it looks astonishing in 4K. Really, really, really impressive. What's quite cool is it's got Porsches in there now, and they debuted the Porsche GT2 RS at E3, uh, which just set a lap record around the Nürburgring. Can you get out of the car? Uh, you <laughs> can't get out of the car, but your your person <laughs> your person is there in the menus in their ah, race suit. So we like, got hey. this adorable like pastel kind of pink race Aww. suit, but there's like Day of the Dead outfits and kind of Mad Max looking stuff, Amazing. and like a sort of Dark Souls medieval knight. And they just announced the day one car pack, which has a bunch of cars from uh, Fast and Furious 8. Oh, so amazing. A fan of muscular bald men driving powerful cars. <laughs> like I know that I know that group is out there on the internet. Uh, you can play that as well. Then you moderate that subreddit. <laughs> Pretty much do, yeah. The sequel to much loved Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor, Shadow of War, comes to us on the 10th of October. Continuing to follow the story of Ranger Talion and Body Buddy, the spirit of the elf lord Celebrimbor, this game will build upon the much praised Nemesis system as you try to amass an army to defeat Lord Sauron. I've actually this week been playing Shadow of Mordor and now I am super hyped. I can tell because you pronounced Celebrimbor correctly. Yes. Yeah, this is going to be awesome. Like the Nemesis system was pretty impressive in um, in Shadow of Mordor. Yeah. I think Shadow War it's had a serious, serious upgrade. Yeah. Uh, and it not just not only applies to your enemies, but now applies to your sort of allies as well yeah. as you build up your own sort of orc and troll yeah. army. Mm -hmm. You can do stuff like send um, members of your army in to kind of infiltrate uh, the the enemy war chief's fortress, and they'll kind of help you out in a battle. I am a little bit worried about Shalob being in it. When the news came out that she mainly spends most of the game as a sexy lady, I was very torn because I was like, oh, so many sexy ladies in games. <laughs> but also, I'm scared of spiders, so less spider yeah? screen time. Yeah. So I was just like... <laughs> I, I am, on the whole, less terrified of sexy, sexy ladies, ladies than spiders. <laughs> on um, <the> whole. <laughs> but, you know, what's going to happen is it'll lull you into a false sense of security. And then, and then she'll go, bleh. <laughs> no, Eight like, eyes, dead. legs dead. everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> Horrible. Sebastian Castellanos makes a return in The Evil Within 2, jumping into the dark city of Union, a place created in the mind of Seb's thought-to-be-dead daughter Lily. With a terrifying serial killer photographer and lots of other weird scary ghosties all trying to murder you, it's definitely a good release for Halloween month. This is good. I, I enjoyed the first Evil Within, so yeah. I'm, I'm well up for this. I do wonder whether, if that's what the inside of your daughter's head looks like, I wonder whether you want to take a look at your parenting no. skills. Yeah, well, I think it's perhaps. been like infiltrated by evil. Yeah, because it's part of like the stem that is within it. thing, and like they built a world from her and how she saw the world, and then the. Maybe they should stop, stop building worlds in people's heads. It's not yeah. going well for them. No. Didn't go well in the first one, no, didn't go well in the didn't. DLC. Not going well now. Yeah. With Resi 7 going kind of first person and becoming something a little bit different from what it used to be, Evil Within almost feels like now the kind of spiritual successor to kind of old school Resi games, mm -hmm. the sort of Resi 4 era. Mm -hmm. um, always up for a good good scary game around Halloween as well. Yeah. I like to get into the festive spirit around Halloween, so yeah. it's always good to kind of, as the, as the nights draw in, go and hide in a, a dark room somewhere and play some horror games. Mm. I can tell you're well up for this plan. Mm.
The foul-mouthed favourites of South Park are back with a sequel to The Stick of Truth. The boys, now bored of wizards and magic, instead have an updated battle system and new superhero powers to play with. Also, players aren't limited to playing just as a boy, and there is some interesting social commentary to be found around that and throughout the game. So you've played this one, right? I have, and I played it for like three hours and I really enjoyed it. Because I'm someone who... I have a love-hate relationship with turn-based battle mm. games, but the way that it's kind of set up in South Park is really fun. Also, now you can move around a little bit more freely okay. and you kind of actually just physically move your character rather than going, okay, two steps and one. And uh, like just the quips that they have mm. in between fights make it so that when you go into a fight, you're not like, oh, okay, I've got to just do all the maths. You actually get a bit of funny chat between you and the people that you're fighting and all the kids and you get to see their little sonas come out and it's really sweet. Car! Move! Phew, all clear. It's getting windy in here. I feel like regardless of what you think of South Park, it's sort of impressive that they're managing to release a game called South Park The Fractured Butthole. The number of people who didn't realise that the joke was that it sounds like butthole until I made my video oh, did astound me. Welcome to the party. <laughs> hey. Drinks are over here. <laughs> Food in the kitchen. Yeah. Um, I liked that we went to Gamescom and I saw adverts for it in German. And I was like, hmm, I wonder if the pun works in German. So I ran it through Google Translate and it just said, South Park the rectal tear. Yeah. I was like, that's horrifyingly yeah. less <laughs> The 27th of October is a big day for video games with three major releases. The first comes to us via Bethesda with Wolfenstein 2 The New Colossus, a sequel to 2014's The New Order. BJ Blazkowicz is back, fighting once more in an alternate universe where the Nazis won the Second World War. Striving for a balance between fun gameplay and thoughtful storytelling, the second game follows BJ as he takes on Frau Engel and her Nazi comrades. So, you have played some of this, I haven't have, you? Yes. And you went on a wheelchair rampage. Yes, I certainly did. Yeah, it's um, it's really good. Uh, the first game was sort of came out of nowhere. I was yeah. really genuinely expecting uh, Wolfenstein The New Order yeah. um, to be kind of rubbish, um, but it really captured that kind of old school FPS thing. It had a, a surprisingly compelling and touching sort of story. This time around, it, they've gone for the full kind of um, man in the high castle, uh, Nazi occupation of America. Mm -hmm. So it's a really interesting mishmash of kind of Americana and, yeah. and the kind of Nazi influence. And next year, it's coming to the Switch. So Switch owners, yeah. be excited. I'm very pleased with the number of the best titles coming out. Yeah, well. they're really committing to it, aren't they? Skyrim, obviously, yeah. but also Wolfenstein and the Doom reboot, yeah. uh, playable on a, on a portable. That's pretty impressive. I'm sure yeah. there are compromises, yeah. but um, those guys know what they're doing in terms of like technology and stuff. So yeah, and, uh, yeah it's just going to be a brilliant game to play on the go. Yeah, looks really good. After a brief hiatus, Assassin's Creed is back with Origins, going back to ancient Egypt and finding out about the start of the Brotherhood, as well as having a complete rehaul of the controls and adding in Witcher-style RPG elements. There are some intriguing looking enemies, lots of animals to bother, and the world is very pretty, full of things for Bayek to do and pyramids to explore. Also, Senu is the best. Probably don't need to talk about this one, do we? <laughs> Not that. <laughs> go on then. You've got. That's great. And it's good. And yeah. <laughs> well, there no. you go. <laughs> um, being a bit of a fangirl, uh, I've I've really enjoyed what I've played so mm -hmm. far. Uh, I think Senu is a great addition. I like the fact that it's like literal eagle vision. And I'm intrigued to find out about like how the Brotherhood started because like Bayek isn't an assassin in the beginning, and right. it's more about the kind of how things start and I'm intrigued to find out about like there's a lot of like shifty looking characters in the new trailers all the black masks and stuff and yeah those masks are cool yeah and as someone who like you know at school you grow up te being taught about ancient Egypt mm. and you're gonna get to run around in it and yeah. it's amazing like the towns running around the towns and just like bothering crocodiles. <laughs> and, Don't try this at home uh, or yeah. anywhere, really. Yeah, exactly. Um, I'm very much looking forward to messing around in ancient Egypt and uh, also doing a bit of a uh, pyramid tomb raiding. Tomb raiding. <laughs> so, yeah, if only there were a game where you could raid tombs. I know. I found that in, I automatically would press RT to run 
and instead I would just go <laughs> and uh, accidentally fight. start a fight uh, or like hurt some pigeon that's nearby, <laughs> some Egyptian pigeon. Uh, and uh, yeah, so you kind of have to get used to not pressing RT to run and the combat isn't just this like, okay, lock on, wait until they attack counter mm. you it's far more hands-on it's more dark souls breath of the wild you have to time everything and uh, no i am very excited for origins and i think everyone knows what i'm going to be doing at the end of october so. it's taken three weeks off switch owners will be jumping on goombas for joy as super mario odyssey is unleashed into the world the new feature to make this title truly unique is the ability to capture enemies with mario's magic hat cappy allowing Mario to make use of their special abilities. You'll get to explore lots of different worlds and collect lots of weird and cool outfits as you save Princess Peach from marrying Bowser, aka save her from the worst episode of Don't Tell the Bride Ever. Tell me about this capturing. Cap is they, yeah, they call it like capturing. Um, not horrifyingly not possessing possession. and uh, <laughs> discarding when you're done with them. When you throw your cap and then it, it, on some items it will allow you to possess the person or thing. So at the end of a hard weird. day's jumping on things, when Mario pops his hat on the hat stand, does he become the hat stand? Uh, yeah, and it's just, oh, he keeps forgetting and then he's like, oh, God. And he puts it on the sofa and then yeah. he becomes a sofa and it's just, it, it he can't do anything. a ruddy nightmare. It's like, you know, Midas's touch, you yeah, know, exactly, blessing yeah. and a curse, it, it's that. Um, <laughs> just have to wear his hat to bed. <laughs> A T-Rex though, yay! Okay, Rawr. that's fine. It's different from yeah. Super Mario 3D World. It's more towards the kind of Mario 64, yes. that kind of era of Mario games. So I'm well up for some more of that as well. Um, I just think Nintendo make the best games and, and yeah. Mario games are are excellent. Yeah, so. I think Nintendo were the, the one company to kind of survive the 3D platforming right. rush where mm. everyone went, went to like make all these games and they were the ones that kind of yeah. still make them now. Yeah, absolutely. A lot of a lot of those kind of series are going back to kind of 2D and things, but I think they've got a, an excellent formula. Yes. Uh, I'm well up for Mario Odyssey. Can't wait to play. Yeah. Wahoo! So there are just seven of many games coming out this month. Mike, yes. which one are you most looking forward to? Well, you'd expect me to say Forza 7, wouldn't you? But actually, I think a, a new Mario game is yeah. always a very, very important moment. Gonna so have to get I yourself would say, Switch. yeah, Mario Odyssey. Gonna yeah. have to get myself that Switch and play Mario Odyssey. Yeah, and then How about you? I think. <laughs> Let me see if I can guess. Uh, Does it begin with A and end with Assassin's Creed Origins? Yeah. <laughs> a a Assassin's Creed <laughs> Origins. <laughs> So Oranges. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I, I'm very much looking forward to that. Um, but what games are you looking forward to? And are there any that you felt uh, that we should have mentioned? Grand because there are so many games that we couldn't fit them in. So like we, we had, yeah, okay, Mike. Uh, <laughs> so let us know in the comments down below. Also, especially indie titles, because we have gone for the heavy hitters. So give those indie titles some love. Also give us some love by pressing that like button and subscribing because we make these videos every month as well as lots of other videos which you should check out here and on outside Xbox because they're cool. But in the meantime, we will see you next time. Thanks for coming, Mike. Thanks no for chatting about games with me. And we'll see you. Bye. 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 Bye.